Hello and welcome to this tutorial for administrators using DRDP Online 2023. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to reassign classes and re-enroll children for a new rating period. First, log into your DRDP account. Remember to reassign classes and re-enroll children, you must have an administrator role. And if you're not sure, click on your user profile in the upper right and your role or roles within DRDP will be listed. Next, go to the main menu on the left and select Setup Menu. From the drop-down, select Classroom. And on the Classroom page, click Search. You will then see a list of all the classrooms that are currently in your agency, as well as which sites they are associated with. We're interested in re-enrolling the Bubbles classroom, and we see it here in the list. So that means we do not need to create a new classroom. However, if the class did not exist, we would have to add a new classroom. Now we want to make sure that this class is in the current rating period, whether it has already been assigned to the new rating period, and if not, we will reassign that class from Fall 2023 to Spring 2024. So we'll go back to the main menu and instead of Setup Menu, we'll select Manage Enrollment and Classrooms. Use the filter to select the site and the rating period. So first we're checking Fall 2023 and we see that there is a Bubbles class with three children. We want to reassign the Bubbles class into the Spring 2024 rating period. First, let's make sure that nobody else did it already, that the class does not already exist in Spring 2024. So let's change the filter to Spring 2024 and select Search. And as we can see, there is no Bubbles class or any other class in the Spring 2024 rating period. So now we know that we need to assign the Bubbles class to Spring 2024. Back to the main menu, let's select Setup Menu, and then from the drop-down, Teacher Assignments and Rating Periods. Once you're on the Teacher Assignments and Rating Periods page, in the upper right, select Add Teacher Assignments and Rating Periods. From the pop-up window, we can find the Bubbles Classroom along with the site that the class is associated with. This is a chance to assign a teacher of record. Each class must have one teacher of record. We can then assign the class to the Spring 2024 rating period. And this is where we can make sure we have one or more teachers assigned to this classroom. And then click Save. Now if we want to make sure that the Bubbles class has been assigned to the new rating period, we can select Spring 2024 from the Rating Period drop-down and select Search. And there we have the Bubbles class that we've just reassigned to Spring 2024. Next, we can re-enroll the children into that classroom. Back to the main menu, select Manage Enrollment. From the drop-down, select Search and Manage Enrollment. In the Rating Period filter, select the current rating period from which we are re-enrolling, which is Fall 2023. Choose the Bubbles Classroom. And there we see the three children that are enrolled in the Fall 2023 class. It's important to note that ratings must be locked for children before they can be re-enrolled in a new rating period. Now that we've selected all of the children, we can re-enroll. The pop-up window will ask us which rating period we are moving this Bubbles class into. Spring 2024 appears as an option because we previously assigned that class to the Spring 2024 rating period. It asks what is the classroom end date for the Fall rating period? When are these children completely finished with the classroom from Fall 2023? That date must fall within the rating period window, which was from July 1st, 2023 to December 31st, 2023. And now it's asking when is the child starting for the spring rating period? 
So the classroom enrollment date is asking when is the child now going to be active in the spring rating period. Keep in mind that the classroom enrollment date is not the same as the agency enrollment date. The agency enrollment date is when the child first started at the agency. But the classroom enrollment dates are connected to the rating periods. So in this case, the spring 2024 rating period starts January 1st and goes to June 30th. And our classroom enrollment date, starting on January 8th, is after the January 1st start date of the spring 2024 rating period. So now we can save and re-enroll these children over to the new rating period. So we have successfully assigned the class to the new rating period and re-enrolled the children. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to reassign classes and re-enroll children in DRDP Online 2023. For assistance, please contact 1-800-770-6339 or email drdponline at wested.org www.desiredresults.us Copyright 2022 California Department of Social Services Child Care and Development Division in collaboration with West Ed. All rights reserved.